Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net, coming at you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. I go live every single Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, coming to hang out, hang out with you cool kids um, and do some junk journal stuff. Today, I just put together, I just put this together like 10 minutes ago. And it's kind of a mess. You can't really, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks a little weird. Hi, Patricia. Um, so I glued down a bunch of book papers. I kind of did the same thing as I did yesterday with these um, pockets that I made. Um, but this time, you know, I did the whole thing with the white. But this time I kind of went over it a little bit with some alcohol inks which I thought was kind of cool. And I added different things like these stamps. You can hardly tell what it is. It kind of all looks like just one page, which I kind of like too. I kind of dig it. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I have all sorts of stuff on me. You can't see it, but it's my table is full. So I want to get started. Let me get going here. I have... I'll probably scan these and uh, put them up as digitals or something. I will decide later when I get more of them done. So what I'm going to do is I start with really thin paper. You can use, probably you could probably use printer paper. But this is a, a craft paper that is really thin and it comes in a sheet. And it's a little bit smaller than eight, eight and a half by 11. And um, I didn't get it. It was given to me by... Um, Irina, so I don't know by Crafty Irina, so I don't know exactly where she gets it from, but she sends it to me. Okay, so I'm just using a piece of packing paper here on the background. It's not a big deal. So, like I said, I have a bunch of scraps here of stuff that I've already kind of used for that first page. So, let's see. Got all sorts of book papers. This I could probably use for signature though, so I don't want to use that. Here is I don't remember. Oh, Charlotte. That's Charlotte. No, that's not Charlotte. Charlotte is the spider. <laughs> I can't remember the little girl's name. I remember Charlotte and I remember um Wilbur, but I don't remember her name. <laughs> I want to put her here in the corner though, because she's kind of cool. Putting my scraps off to the side a little bit. Okay, let's see. Awesome, Elizabeth. I just like how it's already cut into sheets for me. Uh, so I feel spoiled in that regard. Hi, Marilyn. And I wish I had a glue stick right now, but I don't. <laughs> so I definitely have to like push the glue out to the sides. I should be using one of those brushes, but I'm not. I'm just going to stick that here. And I'll cut off the extra piece. Let me get another brush so I could use it for the glue. Okay. Let's put this up here. Should have probably use a piece of packing paper, but it's not cut to size either. I'd have to cut it to mount. Okay. So there she's cut out. And then I have a bunch of ephemera pieces that I cut out from my store. I printed all these out because I collaged on my wall. So they're not even like the best quality prints. But they will work. I want to use this yellow one now that I see it. I have a bunch, bunch of cutouts. Bunch of stuff I have. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, so... I'm literally just going to tear this in random spots. I normally don't like this look, but here I am. <laughs> here I am. And I really don't mind if I get glue on the back of this paper. It dries fast. It 
does not even bother me. Okay. Let's try and put it somewhere. And then... Something fun in the corner here. Maybe some regular paper. It doesn't have to be straight. That would look cool. Just trying to... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, look at this. I ended up covering it up most of... I ended up covering most of it up, and you can't really tell what's what exactly <laughs> so it's okay you also don't have to paint it just like i did but i'm trying to go that extra mile that's what i would do in my normal like even in photoshop so this is kind of fun kind of real life photoshop here for me experience just trying to like overlap them a little bit and this will go right here. And don't worry about these little gaps. You can fill it in with something later. We'll find something to put in it. So don't worry about little gaps if they don't fit. But do you try and make everything kind of like a puzzle piece? No, but not a, like an effortless puzzle. I don't know if there is such a thing. But I also brought out... Um, some pattern paper. I guess this might have been for a wedding gown. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that one's ruined. Hang on. I need my... Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, here, it's under all my stuff. Ugh. Need this thing right here, this kind of like guide will kind of give me a straighter edge than I could ever make myself. Oops, but then it can't help me from tearing it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just kind of putting all my scraps right here in front of me. Okay, so. This could be cool right here. It fits from top to bottom. Right here. Just kind of fits. <laughs> yeah, this is fun collage. It actually is. So, right there. That looks good, I think. I think it looks pretty good. Now, got this grape image, which would fit right here. Awesome, great situation going on here. It's okay to get glue everywhere, it's not a big deal. Okay, so again, I wish I had a glue stick right now. I normally don't, but right now I do wish I had a glue stick. <laughs> And this could go right here. All right. Yes. Just fits like glove. Okay, so this will go right here. 
Okay. I, I brought out this brush and I keep using my fingers. Okay. <laughs> Gail does this. Ah, ha, ha. I have by, I have been inspired by everybody's glue books. And I have been inspired by a lot of people. I'm in, in some art journal uh, groups. So I kind of want to mesh them together right here. I don't need to see a video to, you know, kind of figure out what they do sometimes. Okay. So. Hey, Irina. I could have just gone to the store yesterday, but after I went to dinner with my husband, we went to go eat sushi. I love sushi. And, um... I decided it was more important to try and go to Home Depot to look at the plants. <laughs> Somehow that was more important to me. I don't know why. But it was at the time. <laughs> Let's just keep on checking it. This can go right here. Ooh, I'm using too much glue. Okay. Here we go, Daisy. That's why you brought this, right? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. No glue on your fingers. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Maybe I don't need a glue stick. <laughs> need some flowers or something. I have... Pretty much every single one of the sets of ephemera that I have up in my store printed right here in front of me. And like this huge version, which I'll never really use in my junk journals because they're too big. So I'd rather do this. And then here I go use my finger again. Oh my god is wrong with me. Here's a pretty rose. Just gonna go right here. On top of some sort of something. What do you mean, did Amazon deliver today? What are you talking about? Um. Oh, 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 oh. Can use this blue of some sort over here to give it some color. Right here. Okay, that'll be nice. Okay. So right here. That looks 
there and then we cut off the excess here. I have not gone outside in a couple in a minute. Really cute. I'm liking it. Let's see. I could go there. That could. do this. Let's get the edges done. Okay, so that'll go right here. Right here to here. And then I said I was going to, where's that flower I was going to put down? Oh, no, I was going to do this. <laughs> That's right, I already put down the flower. Yes. I have to rip this off. This will have to come up. So, this can go right here, fill in that little hole. Kind of sideways, it's okay. Okay. This can go up here to cover up this hole. Nothing but rain. Uh oh. Where's that yellow paper? Oh, here it is. This awesome kind of like naturally yellowed paper. It has been great for filling in little spaces because it's really a different kind of color than everything else. They have this little spot to fill here. I already have a bunch of little pieces of stuff. Maybe uh, we could just use a, a ticket. Use a ticket there. And then I want to put a ticket on this side because this is going to be a journal page, so I will fold it in half. Your backyard was a giant lake. Oh no. I remember a couple of years ago it rained for like three days, but that's about it. Got nothing crazy like that. Okay, so I got that done. Then maybe I'll put some of these after. Okay, let's see. So we're done with the page, and I think it looks really pretty. You could leave it like that already, you know, you're done. No problem. 
I like to be a little extra. So I have white paint here, which I could, I should have put some water. Let me put some water in it so it kind of like is not as strong of a white color. It's more of like a white wash. Just kind of thinning out the paint. Some of my drinking water. <laughs> okay. So, it's watery paint now. I, there's no really, <laughs> there's really no technique. I just kind of put it down and then start moving it across the page. So definitely be more of a, more of a subtle look than this one because I watered down that paint. And I don't know about you guys, but my workstation, my table is, it has a white, this is a white poster board that I kind of tape on top of my work table. And um, that way I don't have to worry about like trying to be clean with it or trying to maintain it. I don't have to be scared of kind of like experimenting, you know, at least that's how it makes me feel. Maybe it's a little too opaque. Maybe I could do some sections with a little bit more white. Just went ahead and put in a little bit more paint in here. It's a little bit too light. And I could put some sections where there's more. Then in others. I think I'm happy with that right now. This kind of looks like my Charming Fragments junk journal. I love it. So next, okay, so next, I'm going to wipe down my brush, just some TP that I have next to me. And I'm going to get my little alcohol inks that I put in these little um, needle bottles. And what I learned to do to put the droplet on the brush, kind of move it around the brush a little bit. Don't drop it on the paper yet, but and then you can kind of brush it also with the paint and kind of leave like these watermarked effects almost kind of. That one did mix a little bit too much with the paint. <laughs> Should have dried it. Okay, let me go ahead and dry this first before I continue on with the alcohol inks. So one second, I got to put y'all on mute. So one momento.
Okay, so I kind of um, splattered. Kind of splattered some of the um, alcohol ink, and then you can kind of move it around with the dryer. I tried to put some of this on there, but it, like the color totally disintegrated. <laughs> There's like alcohol in there. That's it. <laughs> that's funny. Let me bring out the rest of my alcohol inks. I kind of love using them. I guess we'll use them a little bit later in the next page. Okay, so this has enough stuff on it. But, but, I didn't put any of these stamps. And I kind of wanted to put these later. I wanted the background to stand out a little bit. And then I was going to add these on. So these are just stamps that I found at an antique shop. Oh, no. Hi, Rhonda. I didn't say hi to you. I'm sorry. I was muted. Um, I found these at an antique shop here in Vegas. And I'm glad that I did. It's a bunch of these little books with a bunch of these little stamps. So these are great. Okay, so let me get this over here. Just put them in sets of two. One. Okay, so this should go right here. This will go, oops, <laughs> I guess they won't be together then. This will go over here. Now, I'm going to get my brush. I didn't want to get that much paint on it, but okay, I did. Okay, I didn't want them to get as painted as the background. So, there we go. There's this page right here. It's a little weird looking. <laughs> but this is fun. This is fun to do. Now, you could do another paint on top, but it won't be as... um. I don't know. I feel like the white really kind of blends everything together. I like it. Let's do another page. Okay, so I'm going to do another one. I do have these like guest check books, guest checks too. That'll work. Okay. okay. So this will be right here. Just start off with that. Just put all these little pieces where I want them to go, actually. Right here. This will go right here. Why not? <laughs> Why not just work around these? Okay. Okay, okay. So do something with this. Not something so small. Something a little taller, like this, would be nice. Cover a little bit more area. Would be real cute.
so this, I wanted it to land right here. Okay, okay. If it's not exactly aligned, it's okay. We're going to paint it. <laughs> you won't be able to tell. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, so let's see. So I got this rose flower situation going on from the last one. Let's see, this is a, like really pretty. Okay, that could go there. And this could go here. And then, so let's just do that. This would go right here. I, would, I could probably make a glue book and just kind of make it all these kind of pages. It's kind of more like an art journal. You know, glue, glue book because it's not really a journal. <laughs> you won't be able to journal on it. I'm just kind of like having fun on the pages. I kind of like that idea. Kind of into that idea right now. There, that can go right here. Ooh, this yellow could cover this over here. That would be great. Okay. This will go there. Just gotta make quick decisions. It doesn't really matter where anything goes. <laughs> That's why this is fun. Eh. No, like, layout or anything. But it is relaxing. I love it. And peppermints can continue up here. Yep, it is. Look nice over here, like this the long way. Okay, and then I still have more of this um, pattern paper. It's really pretty pattern paper. Oh my goodness. Well, there that went. Because <laughs> I could still do it like this. Mm -hmm. 
it looks like a mess, I know. <laughs> it looks really messy. But I am into the look. Okay, right here. Right like that. That looks great. Right? I think so too. Thank you, Patricia. I guess we'll go here at the very end, just covering that. I need something here though. Where's those pages with the large print? They all gone. Hang on. I had this book that had really large print. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. It was graphically, this book is awesome. I don't know what it's about. But it's in like this large print that's great. Because compared to everything else, you know, it really stands out. There is an alarm going off. Why? Let's see. This looks good everywhere. Okay, let me put this down now. Stop just talking about it and move it down. <laughs> okay, so this will go over here. that. Let me get this cut off so I can see if it's going right. It's kind of hard to see it when you have all these extra pieces. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay, okay, so we got this piece that's going somewhere. All right, so this is going to go Should we put it down here. Right there a little bit. Just a little bit. Then Look nice up here. Okay, why not? Why not? Oops. Just like that there. Right, let's see, where are we going to put this? I think this right here will, will work. Okay.
right there would be good, actually. That looks really cute. Oh, Mariana, you can't be. <laughs> well, I mean, I could just print these out again. You know what I mean? So it's not a big deal. <laughs> That's what printables are good for. <laughs> They're not like real vintage or anything. So I just can print out more. So it ain't no thing. <laughs> okay. We are working our way through this now. This will never cut straight, ever. Okay, that'll look good there. Yep, that's why they're gray. And then these are not even printed in the best quality because these are the ones that went up in my wall. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to miss them. It's okay. All of these are printables, so I just print them again. Just do that there. Just looking through my scraps, seeing what looks good, seeing what's good. I can put this here. Okay, let's just do that. This giant thing here, piece of a fruit label. It's going right there. Just to patch that up. <laughs> so this looks good. It looks all sorts of funky. Hi, Giselle. Welcome. Okay, so now that we're done all gluing stuff down, actually, I'm missing this little part right here. Yeah, that works too. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a piece of paper. Okay. So now, let me go ahead and get some paint on this. And we'll have some fun with some alcohol inks. Oops, that splattered. Just gonna paint on it. This kind of blends everything together, makes it look like less of different pieces of paper, more like one. Now, this is acrylic paint, and I did put some. Um, water in it to kind of water it down a little bit. I have to iron my pages, but that's okay. It's not the worst. Just kind of painting over the whole thing in general in this one. This kind of gives it like almost like a fake gesso. Like you can still see through it. Okay. So let me get this dried up. So let me put you on mute one moment.
Okay. So now that this is dry, I've got all my alcohol inks here. It's a bunch of them. And I'm going to see what works. I don't even know. These are kind of old. <laughs> ah, if I can even open it. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to scatter some on and kind of, it's kind of good. One moment. Let me, uh, I got to mute. One second. I put you guys on mute, Mariana, because of the, this is like a little hair blower, basically. So I don't want it to be all up in your, in your ear. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to like splotch some of the color back onto this um, piece of packing paper here. And uh, I think that's it. I think I've messed this up again. <laughs> I think I've messed this up plenty. I really like it. It's kind of a mess. But I think it'll look, look really nice as a scanned printable. We're making junk journal um, pages, but they're kind of like mixed media, kind of collage style. I just used some alcohol inks on here. Maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> but it does give it an interesting look. I think I'm going to make one more. One more. These are very time consuming. Wow. So let me get these alcohol inks off the way again. Okay, so one more. So this is my um, packing, not packing paper, um, craft paper, really thin craft paper. I am covered in little pieces of paper and in paint right now, but that's fun. That's fun, you know? <laughs> So let's get going on this last page here, my glue. Definitely going to make more of these and kind of gather them together and I can make a journal out of them. They're kind of cool, just a bunch of those painted papers in between like other things. I think that would be a fun idea. Keep on doing what we've been doing, you know? Just keep at it. No, I don't like that anyways. Um, let me, I'm looking through my ephemera right here that I have a lot of ephemera. Actually, it's cute. Oh, this is pretty. This lady. She's naked. Almost want to put her there, right here. She will look pretty cool. Close your eyes if you don't like nudity. <laughs> You've been watching your grants. Oh, okay, cool. There are a handful. I know you can't keep an eye out. <laughs> you can't keep. You can't uh, keep your eye off of them. So naked chick is going to go right here. All right, there you go, lady. Do your thing. Okay, so 
And I've got this yellow paper here. Interesting right here. Contrast with the blue over here. Would look kind of cool. Uh, this here. Hi, Shari. Welcome. Hi, Erin. So this, we're going to push this up here. This is going to go right here. Okay, I like it. Got some berries and stuff. But... do this instead. Okay. Okay, so this will go right here. That looks good there. I'm just looking through my pile of stuff here to see what I could put on here next. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's see what else we got. There's all my flowers. Here's some yellow ones. All right, yellow. Down here, that would look cool with yellow flowers. Go down here. Okay. So that looks good. <laughs> Sorry, you're funny. <laughs> it's true though, it's very true. Let's do that. Okay. Right here. That looks good. Ah! Ah, I love it! You can design your own bridal gown. Wow! Just wow. Okay. I remember when I got married. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm like so short. I'm like really short. So they said. They said it'd be cheaper for me to get my dress custom made. Than it was for me to buy a dress and get it altered. I can't even believe. <laughs> That's what they told me. That would look cute. Okay. Bring it off to the side like that. Did I use all my roses? Really daisy. Really daisy. Here's some. Here's some. Okay. Come through with the roses. Come through. All right. At least here. We can put in a whole thing. So go up here. All right. I already love it. I already love it. So, I think 
think I need this. This can go here. Yep, let's do that. They had a $10,000 sewing machine. Oh my god, that better sew everything for me. That better be like those Teslas where you like take a nap and it does it, it drives for you. Like what? Does it sew a whole garment for you? Like that's insane. What? What? <laughs> what does it do? Does it make me breakfast every day? I don't know. What does it do? Here, like that. It's a weird mess, but it looks good. I think I like it. A bit out of my price range, too, man. I went out to eat sushi with my husband. He took me out. And then we went to Home Depot so that I could look at the succulents. And I bought a new plant pot for my new babies that I'm going to have growing soon. Excited about that. Going down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go right here. Gotta keep it going. All right, that'll look good. Okay, so this goes right here. Okay. And then... Yeah, that can go up there. Okay. I can do that. You got all your cinnamon? Yes, girl, get that cinnamon. You won't have no bugs. No ants. No ants in your pants. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this, yep, this is gonna go right here. Yep, 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 it is. Yep, it's going to go there somewhere. Right there. And then... Ooh, it almost fits, but it doesn't. Almost, but no cigar. Yep, this will do. This will do right here. Okay, so this will go right here. We got this piece over here to do. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, this thing's almost done. Let me get these cut off. Cutting this off by hand. Okay. So now I just got this little piece here to do. I do have this yellow flower still, pieces of it. That's too short. Okay. 
Yep, that's better. Fill in the spot right here. Right there. Okay, perfect. So now we got this page done. So now let's paint on it. <laughs> Last step we do is we paint. So I need to add more paint on here. Maybe I will make it a little bit thicker of a paint consistency like the first page. It'll probably be a little bit watered down because of the little bit of paint that was left behind that had a little bit of water. It seems pretty thick. So let's, no, let me water it down just a tiny bit. Literally just a couple drops, probably. Oh, it might have been too much. <laughs> Doesn't really fall in droplet form water. <laughs> Unless it's rain. Okay, just kind of mixing it there. Okay, it's not too too thick. This would be kind of, like I said, it's kind of like a fake gesso when you water down your paint a little bit. And this is just acrylic paint. And again, I'm only painting it just so it kind of looks more like a, like one piece of a paper instead of a bunch. Kind of feel like it makes everything look like more uniform. It kind of blends everything together in my eyes anyways. Like I said, I would be doing this even in Photoshop, kind of distressing a little bit. You could definitely experiment using other paint colors other than white. Be careful if you use black because it, it really, really paints. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and dry this. I'm going to put you on mute. I'll be right back. Let me just uh, dry this one second. Now, you could have definitely stopped at the collage, and you could have definitely stopped here at the painting. <laughs> but I just like to do a little bit more. Just a little bit. So I got all these distress inks that I have not used in I don't know how long. They're probably not even good anymore. They're kind of more syrupy now. <laughs> Which is uh, probably not... <laughs> What they're supposed to be like. See, this one's like nothing's coming out of this one. It's pure gel in there. I should just throw this one away. <laughs> Let's see. Some of them work, though. Some of them do work. <laughs> no, this one will. Just scatter them about. And let me go ahead and dry this.
So you kind of get the general idea of what you can do on top of even that. Yeah, it's like I'm saying, it's like fake gesso. It's just like water down your paint, and it looks really cute. So thank you guys so much for joining me today on this live as I just, you know, kind of did some funky stuff, as you can see here. It was a lot of fun working with you guys. Um, the collaging is really, really easy. And, of course, like I said, you can stop at the collaging. It looks great after it's collaged. I just kind of have to do a little bit extra. And so these are, like, like I said, like mixed media almost. Um, maybe I'll mix in a couple of the ones that are just collaged. And some of the ones that are just with white. So I'll mix them in. I think I'm going to make a whole journal journal out of these. Um, definitely make a whole printable set probably. More than likely. Uh, just add a little rubbing alcohol to the bottle. I will try.